Когда бойцы обладают большим опытом, мастерством и огромным желанием победить, то бой между ними может превратиться в настоящее шоу с обоюдными шансами на успех. Но, честно говоря, я не могу припомнить еще одного боя с таким же количеством попыток удушающих приемов, как тот, что мы сегодня с вами посмотрим. Если же вы, дорогие друзья, сможете припомнить что-то подобное, то, пожалуйста, обязательно напишите об этом в комментариях. В декабре 2016 года в Назране проходил международный турнир M1 Challenge 73 «Битва Нартон». Первым в рейдж вышел английский боец Кристиан Холли по прозвищу The Animal. За его плечами было 10 побед в 12 профессиональных поединках, а среди побежденных им был даже Артем Лобов. Также он являлся чемпионом Англии по смешанным боевым единоборствам. Его соперником стал один из сильнейших бойцов республики Ингушетия, Хамзат Далгиев. Он шел на победной серии 7 боев подряд и уверенно поднимался в рейтингах. В его активе была также бронза Кубка мира по боевому самбо и звание мастера спорта под дзюдо. Для Хамзата бой против Кристиана стал очень серьезным вызовом и проверкой собственных сил на глазах у родных зрителей. Для англичанина же дебютный бой в M1 Global являлся большим шансом доказать свой высокий класс. M1 Global presents... Компания Великорос разработала и изготовила уникальную коллекцию высококачественных, удобных и стильных кепок, панамок и бейсболок из стопроцентного премиального хлопка различных цветов. Все модели имеют различную символику и логотип компании Великорос. Все они безукоризненно сшиты, легко подгоняются под нужный размер и идеально сидят на голове. Головные уборы от компании Великорос имеют свою оригинальную и разнообразную стильную форму, национальную символику с изображением русских богатырей, медвежьего следа или традиционного орнамента и выглядят очень современно, стильно и брутально. В такой кепке любой из вас будет выглядеть очень круто и представительно. Переходите в магазин по ссылке в описании и успейте получить скидку в 20% на такую кепку, а также на другие летние вещи от легендарного бренда по промокоду «Лето». Хамза Долгиев, представляю клуб RZ. Друз у нас здесь дома, в Бушете. С одной стороны, я бьюс дома. Это э, должно было мне как-нибудь бодрить. Ну, как сказать, биться на родном земле, это для меня. Волнительно, волнуюсь, переживаю. Я готовился здесь, дома, в своем родном клубе, под руководством своего тренера и своих друзей. Можно сказать, готов на 100%. И попытаюсь показать хороший бой. Yeah, what's um my first bits of Russia, so it's uh it's cool, you know. I'm I'm uh, nice in the country and uh, it's good to fight here. Um, yeah, and I expect to see uh to see my opponent do his best, so I can bring out my best. Yeah, well, um, being a local guy, you know, I suppose he's going to have lots of support from the audience, but I've fought many times abroad, so I'm used to having um, people that uh, are fighting that have a, a big support, so I'm just coming here to do my job, get the win and go back home. Соперник мой Кристиан Холл, хороший, стойкий, в партии тоже. Можно сказать, ветеран своего дела не первый раз дерется на таким масштабном турнире, как М1. Это у него здесь в России дебют. Но я со своей стороны попытаюсь показать гостеприимство. Буду биться до конца. Волнуюсь, нервничаю, чувствую ответственность перед, перед земляками, перед родными, перед головой. I reckon he's, you know, he's got a, for me, I think he's got a sloppy style, he's a, possibly Sambo, you know, so. He's, um, he's tall, he's got maybe a little bit of range, but I'm going to get stuck in, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to get the dog. No, 
дворце спорта. Постараюсь порадовать всех своих земляков и родных. Абиба, это лучший блок, потому что вы нужно его. Кристиан, в этом бою у меня нет пути назад, только вперед. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an M1 challenge bout in the lightweight division. Now introducing your fighter in the blue corner. This fighter is 28 years old. He weighed in at 70.3 kilograms. He stands 175 centimeters tall and has an impressive record of 10 wins with only two losses. He is four-time national BJJ champion and national MMA champion from England, Christian the Animal Holy! And now welcome his opponent in the red corner. This fighter is 23 years old. He weighed in at 69.7 kilograms. He stands 182 centimeters tall and has a record of seven wins with one loss. He is bronze medalist of the World Combat Sambo. He is master of sports in judo and candidate of master of sports in hand-to-hand -hand combat. From the Republic of Ingushentia, Kamzad Dalgia! And your referee for this bout, Lukas Pusatsky. Hey, fighters, you know the rules. Listen to my commands all the time. When I say stop, we stop. Touch close. Go back to your corners. Judge. 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 You ready? You ready? Fight. Christian Holly in the black trunks looking to take on the local hero, Kamzat Dalgiev in this lightweight bout tonight. Well, Holly comes out with an impressive record of 10 and 1. He's beaten some big names up there as well, Mark. Yeah, he has beaten Artem Lobov, the teammate of Conor McGregor. That obviously a big feather in his cap. And you can see here why he moves very good, always lands that stiff jab and now goes for the nice. takedown, gets it. Good work though by Dalgiev, gets straight back to his feet. Making it hard work for Holly. Yeah, Holly relentless working on this takedown. Went for the ankle pick, didn't get it. But good defense by Dalgiev, who fights in front of his home crowd. And he said in his little teaser video before the fight, on one hand, it's good to have the support from his home fans. But on the other hand, it's a lot more pressure on his shoulders. But he is used to fighting in Inga Shitja. Well, someone's bleeding, Mark. I can see blood on the forearm of Dalgiev. I think it's coming from the nose of Holly. It is. Well, again, scrambling to the canvas, then back to his feet as Dalgiev. Dalgiev on a seven-fight win streak. Well-rounded guy, combat sambo background, but now... Now he takes the back. Oh! Holly gets the back. He's sinking in the ring, he can choke, this could be it. He's in an awkward position, he traps the arm and he goes for the hook. And remember, he's a national BJJ champion. Oh, this times. is tight. He's can he to, finish the fight here? Out, he's trying to come out the back door, switches us to it, to a triangle. The crowd go crazy. Great transition by the Brit here. Going to switch to an armbar now. Went from Renick and choke the triangle, tried it, but missed it. Delvia showed big heart, escape from the... Submission now go for guilty himself here. Well, it's safe now. He's in side control, very, very hard. If now, and impossible to put on a guilty from side control, but again, taking the back position is Holly. What a fight! Getting the re naked choke again from side control. Crowd is on their feet here as their you local can act, hero. You can, you can tap somebody out from this position. It's very tight. He was close to tapping. Oh, he's going red, he's going very red. Can Christian Holly finish the oh, local hero? What an escape! Beautiful work! What a fight! Dalgiev takes his back now! Now Dalgiev working Holly from behind. Dalgiev! Dalgiev! 
Wow! But Harley, a seasoned veteran, fought on a big stage in the past, knows how to defend in that position. But Dagiev, relentless. Referee warning Holly for holding or trying to hold the rope. He's going to get a, he's going he to get a point again. deducted. He's going to get a point deducted. He doesn't need this. Yellow card for Holly. That means a point deduction and a 20% deduction of his fight purse for repeatedly grabbing the ropes. You know, sometimes when you sort of get pulled backwards, you reach out to grab something. I mean, I'm a fighter myself. I've been there. It's not, it's not intentional, but you kind of do it. And he did it again, Ian. Took a knee on the way in as well. Dalgiev now dominant position here. Drought and Ingushija on their feet, cheering their hero. Holly trying to climb onto the mount. Good position now for Holly. Dalgiev doing well by keeping upright. He's going to try and stand up now. He Holly tries needs to, to kick pull. the legs, he does, he kicks the leg out. Tries to pull Dalgiev back from the ropes. Gonna work for the guillotine. He gets and it. And it looks tight. He can push him up against the ropes. Can he finish from here? Oh, look at how tight that is. Incredibly tight guillotine choke submission. He's got the arms trapped, he's got both arms trapped as well. But Dalgiev oh! survives again. Now and now goes for a guillotine himself. Turn. What a back and forth fight! Oh, jumps to side control. Christian Holly knows where he is. Top position a people, now. A lot of people would have panicked in that situation. Now no, Holly is a seasoned veteran. Now he goes again oh, for the guillotine. Out. Went for side control guillotine. What a battle! 30 seconds left to go, Mark. What a crazy first round, Ian. Guillotine attempt again by the Brit. I think this will be a battle of, of will more than battle of skills and, and fitness. Yeah, both fighters obviously very well rounded. Now it's Dalgiev going for the guillotine again. And this looks very, very tight here. Oh, heads out. His heads out. Eight seconds to go in that oh, he's first mounted. round. It's going to take a lot to finish him with one second left. But finish is strong. What a close second round. And what wow. A crazy battle here. At M1 Challenge 73 in Ingushitia, the local hero, Kamza Dalgiev, throwing tons of heart against Christian the Animal Holly. Here's some highlights from that first round. Stiff jabs from Holly to start things off. But the story of this first round were those back and forth battles on the ground with both fighters slapping on tight submission moves. Well, in my opinion, Ian, Holly still took that first round because he came closer to submitting Dalgiev than it was the other way around. You could be right, you could be right. I hate to, I hate to be a judge, that's for sure, but you know, when it's that close, especially when you're fighting out of your home country, you know, it was very close as well. It could have went either way, but I think you're right. I think Holly took the first round there. He was so guys, close on, to finishing it. Hey, come on, roll, roll, roll. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. We're set for round two again. Wait. Oh, he clipped him. Holly goes for the takedown. Holly working that single, attacking the right leg of Dalgiev with his knee strikes. Dalgiev defending well. Holly could switch to a, a high clutch if he wanted to. The right hand, oh, pulls that leg out beautifully. Well done by Holly, but Dalgiev tries to stand up immediately. Now it's Dalgiev who grabs the ropes. Uh, yeah, Dalgiev needs to be careful because he is, he is going to get a point deducted. Almost. Take the back. Oh, he goes high, but he gets the hook in. Now this is tight. This is very tight. Oh, Perfectly nice defense. Transition. Nice defense. Perfect transition to that rear naked choke. Holly needs to grab that leg with his... And I think he's Dougie squeezing, he's tap. squeezing. 
Berger is going to tap. Very close, very close. That's better position, he's flattened him out. Dalgiev just doesn't want to give up in front of his hometown crowd here in Nazran Ingushitia. Holly could switch the palm, the palm that would work better. Slide his hand back, go palm the palm and get a better grip. That is a deep rear naked choke here. Holly's arms will probably be pumped right now. He's tried all the guillotines, he's tried the rear naked a few times. Now Holly's expending a lot of energy here. Dalgiev survives once again, at least for now. That's the palm to palm now. Still That's in a, a better bad position. position here. That's stronger. Switches it to Rhea Naked Chuck, figure four. Again wow. he defends. What a hard, what a hard by Kamsa Dalgiev who escapes again and now has the back of Holly. And Holly is devastated here. Expanded loads of energy on that choke. The referee's watching his hands. He's watching those hands, he doesn't want to get another point deducted because, like you see, he might have won the first round, but not with that point deducted. That point he took the... Exactly, we forgot about the yellow card. Yeah, so. that point he took could mean it's at, at, at the very best a draw. For the worst for him, he's lost the round. And he's losing the second as well. Take down by Dalgiev. Beautifully done, and now he's raining down punches. Referee's going to step fan. in. The referee's going to step in. He needs to do something quick. I think he's exhausted. You have to intelligently defend yourself. The referee will not allow you to take punishment, even if it's bouncing off the arm. Holly doesn't have the gas tank to defend himself anymore. Now it's down here, going for the a really good job. More of a neck crank right now. Yeah, he's safe. Dagev needs to slip his forearm under the chin of Holly, but still, great position here for the English Egyptian fighter. This is underneath now. Oh, this is T-Tap. Any tap, -tap. any tap. Wow. What a win, what a win. Wow. I told you it was a, it was a battle. Hole. That was a battle of will. Had nothing to do with fitness. Had nothing to do with the skill level. That was a battle of will. Who oh. wanted it more? Hold oh, arena on its feet now. He wanted it more. Not a single spectator sitting. Wow. What a fight. What an incredible fight. And we see Christian Ollie here, obviously devastated. What a devastating victory for the Brit, who looked very good in the beginning. But at the end, the bigger heart prevailed. And we see Kamsa Dalyev and his cornerman. Obviously in great spirits after such a big, big victory in front of his whole crowd. Best fight I've seen in a long time. What a finish. Here is Ian with the official decision. gentlemen after three minutes 14 seconds of round two we have a winner due to tap out from rear naked choke Kamzad Dalgiev Kamzad Dalgiev Respublika Kamzad дорогой Ты сегодня совершил маленькое чудо для всех своих земляков. Они невероятно счастливы сегодня и рады за тебя. Ну что, скажешь пару слов? Первое слово, альхамду лиля. Хочу поблагодарить всех от души. Баракалла. Спасибо. Новых сил, новых побед. Хамзат Алгиев, Россия, Ингушетия.